Brother, we're not the Christian church. We're not out here to get numbers. We are here to save souls. It's not about numbers. It's about real men of God. I'm going to show you what the Most High told us to do on the Sabbath. Give me Luke 14 and 20. What you're doing right now is what the Most High commands each and every black, Hispanic, and Native American man to do. We are out here raising up the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Which are you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans? Read that. No, we're the propitiation of our sin. And he is. Jesus Christ is the propitiation of our sin. That's right. Bring it up. So that's that's the kind of nonsense we're talking about. Of God. The what? Oracles of God. This Bible was only given to the children of Israel. That's right. It was not given to any African. It was not given to any Egyptian. Give me Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Because according to the Bible, we are at the bottom of society because we do not keep God's laws, statutes, and commands. That's right. It's high time that we wake up out of sleep. Neither keep they the king's law. And they don't even keep the king's law. Because guess what? Just because the so-called white man says Sunday is the Sabbath, we say no, that's not true. The Sabbath is on Saturday and we're going to keep it on Saturday. That's All right. right. And we're going to write up a written document saying I'm not working on the Sabbath. Because we're different from everybody else. We're not going to do what everybody else does. We're not going to sing and dance like the white man has told us to do over 400 years. All right, on the who's your head? Um, jump up a verse. First Corinthians 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man now is the head of you is Christ. Is Christ. Um, jump down to 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So you dishonoring Christ right now, right? So what must you do? How to show him that you love him. You gotta take your hat off, brother. So this Bible coming out right now. Alright, on the do you believe in the word of God or not? Huh? So I wanna read it again. I mean one more time. We gotta test your spirit. Every man praying or prophesying. On which we are out here prophesying. Alright? So when this Bible is on the coming out, ah, uh, that's called on the prophesying. Alright, read. Having his head covered, dishonor it, he's dead. All right, brother, man, if you love the Lord, I'm going to take your hat off. So what you're saying is what? He love Christianity. That's what he love. So you're stuck in Christianity, right? Uh, huh? So we're telling you that, you, um, give me love right quick. Um, so do you love the Lord or not? You do love the Lord. So let's... I want to find out. So let's find out what the love of God is, all right? First John, chapter 5, verse 3. Right. For this is the love of God. Uh, this is the love of God. Read. That we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So, man, if you love the Lord, you want to keep his commandments. And his commandments ain't hard to do. All right? All right, what scripture? I'm sorry. John 14, 15. All right, John 14, 15, real quick. My brother said he can't take off his hat. Ah, the Bible speak on that thing too. Now, nah, we gotta get this first though. John 14. So let's see what Christ said. John 14, verse 15. Uh, answer. John 14, 15. I'm gonna bring it out. If he loved me, keep my commandments. Oh, the Christ said what? If he loved me, keep my commandments. All right, on the first John, on the two and four. All right, bro. So you say you love the Lord, right? Uh, but you still got your hat on. So that's what? I don't think he understood that John 14, 15, man. All right, read it again for the brother. Let me get that for that brother one more time. Man. Right, read it again for him. Because right, you say you love the Lord, right? So let's find this. My bad. If you love me, if you love me, keep my commandments. All right, on what that say? I want you to tell me, huh? So what, All right, give me first John, I mean two and four. Brother, we're being rebellious. Rebellious. All right, that's why people in captivity. 
Okay. Take the hat off. All right, listen to so this. That's right. All praise. All praise to the most high. Luke 6, verse 46. And why call he me, Lord, Lord? So why would you say you love Christ? Why would you say, Lord, Lord, read? And do, do, do the thing which I say, and do not the thing which I say. Read it again from the top. And why call, call he me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? You see that? So there's no point for you to say you love God if you're not going to do what he's telling you to do. You see that? That's right. Keep reading. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my saying and doeth them. So whoever hears his word and does it, like you said, you finally took off your hat. All praises. You were trying to be rebellious, but the word cut you. Okay, Read. Right. We'll show you to whom is it, he's, he is like. Can you say it again? Yeah. Verse 47. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my saying uh -huh. and doeth them, uh -huh. I will show you to whom is he is like. All right, read. Verse 48. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and lay the foundation on the rock. The Bible is very simple. It has commandments. It's either you do them or you don't do them. Right. There's a reward for both. But the scriptures say his commandments are not Greek. For instance, how hard was it? How hard was it for you to take off your hat? Not hard at all, right? But the nation of Israel, we so rebellious. We got to sit there and think about whether we want to take off our hat or not when salvation is on the line. You see that? Read. So rock two. Verse 15, uh -huh. they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. Read it again. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. You see that? They that fear the Lord won't disobey his word. Sis, can you hear me? Or you got your headphones in? I hear you. Let me ask you a question, sis. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? You do? You got a second? Um, I don't. Uh, anyway, those that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. Read. And they that love him, they that what? And they that love him will keep his ways. You see that? The Bible says you're gonna keep his ways if you love him. Now, how are you gonna learn to keep the commandments? Let me ask you that. How are you gonna learn to keep the commandments? Because obviously Christianity ain't teaching you nothing, correct? Because you didn't know that you ain't supposed to have your head on when the word coming out. Right. You didn't know that you had to keep the commandments. You don't know how to get salvation. You didn't know any of that. So, my question to you is, how can you learn those things that are essential for you to get salvation? Do you know? Uh, I'm going to show you. Guess what, brother? You need to join a group of believers that can teach you and show you the Bible. That's right. And that's scripture. It says, in this land of our captivity, this is where we are going to rehearse the righteous acts. Now, I don't know if you ever act or if you ever sing before, if you ever played a sport. All right, but in practice, in practice, do you make mistakes during practice? You don't never make a mistake in practice. Right, you make mistakes. So right now, this whole scenario that we're going through, us being in our captivity, is a practice or a rehearsal. But when Christ returns, that's right. and when Christ returns, we got to get it right. So that's why we're coming out now and teaching repentance. Read that last part again. Then shall they rehearse the righteous act of the Lord. Bring it out. Even the righteous act toward the inhabitants of the village. So here we are going to rehearse the righteous act. All right. Give me uh, Proverbs 24, 16. Now. While you're rehearsing, guess what's going to happen while you're rehearsing? Sometimes what happens? You forget your line, right? You forget your line. You say, dang, I messed up. Or you at practice. You forgot to uh, pass the ball. You're supposed to pass and then cut. Whatever's going on, we're going to make mistakes throughout our, our, our walk. Now, in the Christian church, they don't correct you throughout your walk. But the Israelites, we're going to show you what you did wrong so you can correct it and do it right the next time. So you become better and better and better. Chapter 3, verse 13. But exhort it one another daily. But do what? Exhort it one another daily. While it is called today. Lest any of you be hardened through the disciplinness of sin. But, but exhorting one another daily while it is called today, less of you 
be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. You see that? Because if you're not around a group of believers, you're going to be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Guess what? You're going to think there's no way out. You're going to think, man, I can't get over this. I can't get over lust. I can't get over stealing. I can't get over cheating. You can't get over, you're going to think you can't get over those things. But the Bible says, when you see the counsel of wise men, you can get over those situations. And you can get over those things. That's right. Now let me ask you this, brother. Do you know what sin is according to the Bible? What sin? Huh? <laughs> bad thing? What scripture says bad thing? Give me a sin. You see what I'm saying? The Christian church don't teach nothing, brother. You have zero understanding of this Bible and you probably sit in the church every week your whole life. Every Sunday. You can't tell me what sin is. You can't tell me how to get salvation. The basic essentials. All right, give me that. First John 3 and 4. I'm going to show you what sin is, my brother. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Does what? Transgresseth also the law. Listen up. Read. For sin, For sin is, the transgression is the transgression of the law. So what's sin, brother? Transgression of the law. Break it, break it down even more basic than that. What does that mean? Why you gotta go, brother? You got work to do. You know what today is? Today is Sabbath. You always supposed to be doing the Lord's work today. So what about Sunday? What about tonight and sundown? Not enough time? Brother, your salvation is a lot more than that. That's right. I guarantee you. Because guess what? It's going to be a long time burning if you don't keep these commandments. Thanks, right. A long time. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.